What do you want? Ratchet rat or ho hop? Let's get into it. man torture talk like share subscribe to the page you know what it is today I want to do a review on the Megan Thee Stallion good news album before I get into that make sure you like share subscribe to this page hit the thumbs up if you like if you like the content if you don't like the content hit the thumbs down and if you want to donate the link is in the description the cash app make sure you hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I drop new reviews because I'm the GOAT you know Y'all gonna go on this journey with me, with my hair, because my hair is growing. So I want y'all to go on this journey with me. So uh, as my hair get longer, my forehead won't be so big, because you see how big my forehead is? It won't be so big, because you know, that's how Rihanna used to do it. She just had to bang over her forehead. So, you know, let me just, they baby's locks now, you know, but they getting there, they getting there. All right. All right, man. So, making a style. Megan Thee Stallion drops a new album. But before I get into the album, let me just speak on female hip hop in general and why I'm so, how would I say, disgusted or, or disappointed in a way. And I would say this, up until, up until the last maybe couple of years of Nicki Minaj's uh, career she was mostly spitting raps and I think that she was one of those artists that really didn't exploit herself until later on in her career and she's the perfect example of what happens with females who are successful at rap it always goes down to where when you're big they always end up being becoming a sex symbol and it, to me, it takes away from the art form. And this is why you have artists like Rhapsody and a bunch of other female rappers who don't get the recognition that they deserve because it's became a normal thing now where women have to exploit themselves for them to be successful. And not even to be successful, just exploit themselves because that's normalized now. And it's the, we live in this culture with this OnlyFan and women, the, the prostitution uh, of uh, social media prostitutes where they feel like they can do and say anything and can't be criticized or judged. You know what I'm saying? So that's where it comes down to when it comes to Megan Thee Stallion. So as I get into the album, I'm going to explain how she correlates into that. And she's basically what... She is basically what it is going on now, personified. Like, she is what the culture is when it comes to this type of behavior. So, judging her album, I went into this album knowing that I was going to get something that was redundant and wasn't something that I thought that was going to be groundbreaking. I just listened to it because I felt as though that Tori had something to say, so maybe she has something to say with some type of significance. And maybe she's going to change my mind on the whole situation. And lo and behold, she sure didn't. And actually, she made it worse for me. Because as I listened to what she was saying, and let's be clear. I'm so sick and tired of y'all defending these women with this type of behavior. You know what I'm saying? This is what you call for. You ask for this type of stuff. And again, I'm not saying that it's a good thing that it happened to you. But when you talk about these type of things all the time, this is what's going to happen. So she comes out with the first song. And the first song, she uses the Biggie beat, Who Shot You. And I guess she's a, it's a play on words where, you know, I guess it's a get back where Tory Lane shot her and now she's like, who shot you? It's like, let's be clear. Judging off the lyrics off this album, 
she's like one of those people that, to me, she falls in that category of like, you got a bunch of hot MCs and she's in the cypher and she's just one of those rappers in the cypher. She don't stand out, but just the fact that she's a girl and she's the only one probably doing it at this at this rate, not the level, but this rate. So you figure that, okay, well, uh, yeah, making a stallion, yeah. It's like nothing credible or crazy to me is like, oh yeah, damn, she's really spitting some crazy stuff. And it's like, y'all give these girls a pass or y'all give her a pass because she's a female that's rapping. She should be held at the same standard as all these other people if she's going to be held at the standard of being one of the best to do it right now. You got y'all got to stop acting as if y'all can't criticize these girls or these these women because they talk about what they talk about. She talks about being a hoe, so criticize that as being a hoe. You can't be like, "Oh, well, nah, you got to respect her. You got to you got know." She don't respect herself. So, how you expect me to be like, "Yeah, I'm not going to go around and call Megan Thee Stallion a bitch and a whore." But still, if I'm getting if I'm giving a review and I'm saying that this is whore rap or hoe rap or slut rap or you can't get mad because that's what it is. It is what it is. She's basically saying that in the verses, in the songs. She's saying that she's a whore. So what do you want me to say? You want me to say, oh, well, it's just music. There's some people that take this stuff as gospel. They don't take it as just music. So the lyrics on this album is terrible. It's not something that, it's not the flow. It's Sometimes I think Megan Thee Stallion, she just looks for words to rhyme with other words to try to make it make sense. I mean, normally that's what you do, right? But at least be a little more creative with it. Artist be some type of artistic element to it. But you are like, uh, like just at, at its simplest core. Maybe some people like that. For me, it's just a way to generate money. That's all it is. This ain't nothing that's going to be played next year or the year after that. This is just a, a microwave money grab rap right now. That's how I feel about this album. So, well, about that, about the lyrics. And getting into the production. Production was like fly by night production. Wasn't something that I thought was going to be crazy. You know, again, we're talking about a person, a rapper nowadays who just looks for singles. They don't look to create nothing great. It's just, okay, yeah, I like that beat. I like that beat. They like every beat. Any beat. Any beat. They like it. They feel as though it's going to knock or or it's going to bring, 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 make people jump up and dance. It's like, you're an artist. You're an artist. What are you doing? And that's how I feel about that. I feel like she's like, just, a, just picking anything. You know what I'm saying? And again, it sounds like something that's a continuation from her last album. It's like one long an album. Like, like, give me a break. And the sound quality, you know, she if she has a, a good enough budget, she could make the sound quality good. I listen to it in my car and I listen to my headphones. And it sounds the same. It doesn't sound too bad. You know, uh, sonically, this, it sounds okay. That's probably the high point of the album to me. But the other two points, it's like, like, come on. You know, so, like I said, it's one of those albums to me. It's just... She, I think she felt as though she had to, re, she had to rebuttal the Daystar album, and it just fell flat on his face. You know what I'm saying? Before I give my rating, I want to talk about something else that she said on the album. That really, that really kind of like upsets me a little bit. And it's about what she said about. Uh, she said something about Breonna Taylor. Now, I have my opinions about what happened to Breonna Taylor. I watched the whole thing. I seen it, and I was told something and come to find out it was wrong i'm just going to leave it at that but still and all she said something about brianna taylor not get this there's not justice for brianna taylor and this is where i say this is what makes me mad about these so-called woke rappers who are really not woke so you're using brianna taylor's death as a virtual signal to show people that you are a victim you're playing a victim, but throughout all your songs, you're talking about how you get over on men, how you fuck men over, how you do all these things. But yet and still, you got a nerve to say, oh, well, 
uh, there's still no justice for Breonna Taylor. So what are you trying to say? That there's no justice for you either? You created this monster. This is what you did. You, you, you admitted it yourself that you were doing things. You say it yourself. So how are you, how are y'all even defending these type of people? You know what I'm saying? Like, how are y'all defending somebody like her? How? Because she's a black woman? Because she's a woman? How? It's not fair to people who actually going through stuff like this. For you, for her to sit here and act as if she's the victim. You are part of the problem. You're not the victim. Maybe both of y'all are the problem. But you can't say you're the victim. Because you did something. Now, I'm not saying that it was right what he did to you or whatever it allegedly did. But you are not the victim. You are part of the problem. So when you say there's no justice for Breonna Taylor, first of all, I know that you didn't even look up the whole case. So you're just using that and don't even know what you're talking about. And this is the type of stuff that gets me mad. Because a lot of y'all, y'all listen to these albums and y'all take them for what it is and y'all don't ever go do no research on what they be talking about. And y'all just run with it. No. Not doing it. Light four. Light four. Pushing down to a three. Album is not good. This is not a good album. And I, don't, I wish that y'all stop putting these people on these pedestals and tell them really what it is. Maybe it's just my opinion. I could be living on an island. Who knows? But you can't just because you feel as though that you don't want to be canceled or you don't want to combat with people that you just go along with what they're saying. Like what? What? No. It's your opinion. It's your opinion. It's yours. If you feel as though that you want to say something about this album and you don't like it, then say it. Don't sit here and say that you don't like it because uh, that you like it because you're afraid that uh, because the situation with Tory Lanez and her, you don't want to be on the opposite side of it. No, if the album isn't good. It isn't good. It could be echo go for any artist. This is what we're here for. We're giving our opinion. So if you can't give your opinion, then stop doing blogs. Stop acting as if like you, you have to be on her side. You don't. You're giving your opinion about her music. It has nothing to do with, with her, her personal life. But if she decides to implement her personal life into her music, then you can say something about it. But y'all so afraid to speak up how y'all feel. Y'all still, I ain't going to touch that. No, I'm going to touch it. I'm going to say what I want to say. Period. This album isn't good. It's not a good album. Whether, it, whether people believe it is, to me, it's not. It's just the same old garbage that everybody put out and every, uh, the bunch of the stuff that she been doing. You know what I'm saying? And I, I believe she got a bunch of other projects that's better than this one. Just a bunch of garbage. Throw a bunch of people on it and call it an album. These are not albums no more. These are compilation records that they're doing looking for singles and trying to make money. That's all it is. This ain't, this ain't something that's artic articulate or, or something that I could say, yeah, she really put her foot in this one. No. Light four. Get that fuck out of here, man. Get out of here.